All right. Hi, everybody. It's Annie from Radnor Memorial Library with this week's Zoom into Science. I am here with my special guest, Miss Sally, our teacher. Hi, Sally. Hi. And I've got some students here. That blue green haired girl, that's Lucy, the third grader. Hi, Lucy. And that other girl is Pippa, the kindergartner. Hi, Pippa. Hi, Pippi. Hi. And just a reminder for everybody, whenever you're doing science, you want to make sure that you have a grown-up's permission and their help if you need it. So, Sally, take it away. Okay. So, today's little activity is called Calling All Ducks. And at... Uh, Lucy and Pippa have uh, been doing some uh, science activities with me, and we thought that maybe you'd like to join in and try it too. So first off, girls, I know that you hang out uh, sometimes where there are uh, wild waterfowl. What do ducks sound like? Can you quack, 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 quack. quack? And sometimes they don't actually say quack. It's more like quack, quack. So we're going to uh, try and uh, make that sound today and talk about why it happens. Now, sound takes place because of vibrations, when something vibrates. So I want all four of us right now to demonstrate vibrating. Demonstrate vibrating, whoa. Pippi, vibrate, vibrate. Okay. <laughs> all right. And so that's what happens with sound. Sound is caused by vibrations and it passes that energy along. So our materials for today are pretty simple. You just need a couple plastic drinking straws yes. and any color. I just happen to have these and some scissors. Now, um, let me ask you this, Annie. Yeah. Those don't look like they're plastic. Those look like they're paper. They are. They are paper straws. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how they'll go. I don't have any idea either, but if you remember, one of our science words is variable, things you can test. So Gigi, Gigi Annie, <laughs> has a, uh, a different variable that we'll test to see if it works. So first thing we want to do, girls, is take a straw not the yellow one, take another one, and they have to press it down. Now, here's the important part. You gotta get the edges real flat at one end. So press them, I'm using my fingernail. What's up, Lou? You yeah. might be able to, like, we're not blowing on it yet. No, well, like you, oh, she was oh well, I guess maybe you could if you would use your tea. To get like the end, really flat. you might use your scissors down on the table to uh, press it down. Okay. Yeah, that looks now great. my straw, I will show you, my straw also is one of those that's a, a sippy straw you can bend. But if it bends, that's okay. If it doesn't bend, that's okay. So Pippa, do you have yours pretty flat? All right. Now I'm going to cut mine first. Don't you cut it yet until I tell you. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to make a point at the end. So watch and then I'll tell you to cut. Okay. So I'm just going to go down a little way and cut and then I'm going to come the other direction and cut so that I have a little point. Can you see that? Yeah. So you guys go ahead and try and do the cut. Now, I will tell you, it's sometimes a little hard to do this. So you might need a grown-up to help you. And Lucy and Pippa, just in case you couldn't get it cut, I did cut one for you and put it in your straws, the yellow ones. Well, I think they got it, Aunt Sally. Did you get it? Yeah. Let me see your point. 
Let me see your point. Okay. All right. Let me see yours, Annie. Here's mine. So now flatten it out again. Get the ends real flat. And hopefully, and again, if yours doesn't work, we can use the yellow one I cut for you. We're going to blow on it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Blow on the opposite end, right? I use the end that has the point. That's what you're putting oh, in your mouth. Oh, that's what you want. Is yours making a duck sound? No. No. Okay. I didn't think that the paper one would. You yeah. girls, get the yellow one that I cut for you. I have it. All right. So make the press the point down again real good. And you want to make sure that when you blow on it, that your mouth is below there. Did it make a sound, Annie? It makes a little squeak. Because what's happening is my air is vibrating these two little ends together. Are you blowing on the pointy end? Pippi, where's the yellow one that I cut for you? Okay, flatten out the pointy end, flatten it out. Remember, get it along the sides and blow just, and here's the thing, you have to blow pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, should they put their mouth past the point? Yes, it should be down. <laughs> oh, I heard it, Pip. I heard it. Yeah, make sure your mouth is below. Make sure your mouth is below the point. Try again. <laughs> now I'm going to try this because now that's our duck call. Quack, quack. Now here's the thing. I wonder what will happen if we can put another straw onto this one. So now I'm going to kind of fold this over and put it in the end of my other straw. Could you hear that? Oh, there, you kind it's of have you a duck. It's like a, going. It's it not like really a siren. Ducky. You're a fly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's extra long, right? So now I put two straws together, a pink hmm. and a purple, and I'm going to try and blow on them. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. No. Oh, it did a little bit. Let me try again. Oh. <laughs> but what do you notice? Hey, girls, what do you notice? about this sound though. What's how the sound different? <laughs> As opposed to <laughs> what's different about the sound when I add it on? Listen. <laughs> that's kind of squeaky. Now listen to this. <laughs> Mm. What's different about that sound? Is it higher or lower? It's lower. It's yeah. lower. And what I could, I wonder if I could do three. I'm going to try three. three. You have to really be able to blow hard to get three. Oh, who was that? Was that Annie? My All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try three. Okay, let's hear three. <laughs> Oh, I don't have enough air to make it vibrate. But now watch this, girls. Now if I do this, so if I add straws oh. on and the sound gets lower, what do you think is going to happen if I cut this straw shorter? Mm. It's going to get higher. Oh, let's see if that happens. I'm going to cut my straw off. Whoops. And try it again. Bye -bye. <laughs> Let's see if I cut it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and let's try it one more time so I have just a 
little tiny duck call now. A little short one. Oh. And so yeah, you, like can take a, you can take a straw, you can cut it, and the vibrations will cause it, if it's a shorter distance, the vibrations make the sound higher. And if it's a longer straw, the vibrations have to go further, and it makes the sound lower. I just have this piece. I well, know. Let me see. I don't know if that's that. Ever. Let me try. Oh my gosh, Lou! I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So the next time you go in a restaurant, if you happen to have like a pair of scissors with you. Maybe your mom has some in her purse, or maybe somebody's with you that is going to sit there and uh, do some needlework. You could cut a straw, and you could really <laughs> annoy people. Be crazy. That. That sound you like could be crazier. Yeah. It's actually much easier <laughs> to blow that little duck call than it is to to do the great big long one. If you notice, I had to take big breaths and blow it. So I wonder, we could do some other experiments. Like here, we did the experiment where Annie used a paper straw. It worked a little, but not a lot. Right, and it didn't really sound like a duck. Right, and you know, sometimes you go and you get great big straws when you go to restaurants or places to get sodas. I wonder if it, because the straws we're using are pretty narrow. I wonder if you used a bigger straw, what the sound would be like. And you know, you girls told me you have those reusable straws that are real heavy plastic. Mm -hmm. I bet they would make a different sound too. And so you might want to do some more experimentation, check out different kinds of straws, Check out and see which one sounds most like a duck. Does this one sound? Does that one sound much like a duck? What do you mean, Pepper? Not really. No. Not really. But you could check out which ones sound most like a duck. Yeah. So once again, if you guys do this experiment at home, please post your comments or show us a picture. Maybe a video of your duck call. <laughs> maybe uh, Pippi and uh, Lucy, maybe we can try to do some more duck calling and put yeah. a video where you actually make the sound. Do you have any questions today? No. Remember, sound is caused by vibrations, energy moving yeah. through. And we made we made the straw vibrate to connect to uh uh create the sound okay any questions no all right we'll okay. see you next time bye-bye say bye-bye everybody Lucy and Pippa. Hit the bell.